Hey everybody, it's new gizmo time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> These are fantastic, man. That's me and my buddy down there. I'm in the red shirt, of course. This is yesterday and I'm still wearing the same shirt. And there's a looky loo in the yellow shirt. Just took it out over the marina for a few minutes to get my legs with the goggles on. It is a completely immersive experience. And although it's not 3D, you can definitely tell proximity a lot better than with a tablet. And if it's a sunny day like it was on this day, blocks out a lot of the sunlight. I had it hooked up to my Phantom 3, and there's a setting in the Go app for FPV, which kind of locks the gimbal to give you that feeling of flying when you're banking. I don't like it personally, but it's your own personal preference. And it's good that it's an option. That's where my friend keeps his boat. It's always good to have a friend with a boat. It's better than owning a boat yourself. That's what I hear anyway. So getting brave, I wanted to fly over to that bridge in the distance there, and so I did. And being even braver, I thought, well, I probably can fly under the bridge. Got the fat shark goggles on. And so I did. Again, you have to get used to everything with the goggles on compared to flying with a tablet. Give that a few days and I'll be turning that FPV banking thing off in the next clip. There is a tendency to get a little braver when you're wearing the goggles because you can see everything so much better. And there's a diamond in the middle. You'll see it going back and forth on the screen. That diamond always points towards home because in the goggles you don't have all of the information that you do on the tablet. Again, this is the Phantom 3 that I'm using. And to get the HDMI out that goes into the Fat Shark goggles, you do have to buy the extra little who's my what's its that goes on the back of your controller. I think it's called a who's my what's its. There it is right there. It's on the back of the remote controller and that gives you your HDMI out that you can hook into the goggles. On Amazon, they call this thing the DJI Phantom 3 Professional Advanced Quadcopter FPV Double Screen Display 720p Real-Time HDMI Output Module Pro Advanced Part 54. But I'll put a link in the description. All right, the Fat Shark goggles are actually intended for quad racers. And they have head tracking modules available. Also, the antenna for direct contact with the quad goes right in here. But if you just want to use the HDMI, there are a few things that you should know that I had to find out the hard way in order to get them to work. And I looked online, I couldn't find a lot of videos uh, that would tell you about this. So I'm going to tell you. The first thing is there's a little button on here. Can you see it there? It's that one right there. That's the RX button. There's a zero and a one. One, of course, is on. Zero is off. And you have to have that off. That's intended for the quad racers. It turns on the transmitter and negates the HDMI. Another thing that's a little irritating, there's an SD card slot in here where it has an onboard DVR. Well, guess what? It doesn't record HDMI. That sucks. But also it's a very low resolution recorder, so me. The other thing I found out is, and maybe you already knew this, but if you didn't, these are the last things that get turned on. Once you get your tablet and your copter and everything all on, get the app going, then you hook up the HDMI and power these on. And that's the only way they work, apparently. The ones I have are the Dominator V3, model number FSV1063, and lots of things come in the box. You get a lot of dipply doodads. I like making up words. You get wire thingies. You get goggle thingamahoosers, you get stickers. Mm -hmm. But guess what you don't get? You don't get a battery charger. And I didn't know that because I guess I don't read the description on Amazon. But the battery does come pre-charged. There's the indicator right there. It's just enough charge to get you started and playing with it while you order your charger from Amazon. Again, link in the description for you. Oh, another thing. You may have noticed that I'm wearing glasses. Glasses won't fit in there. If you wear contacts, great. But if you wear glasses like me and you're nearsighted, 
there's actually a thing called a diopter set that you can order on Amazon. They're little plastic lenses and they slide right into where your eye holes are in the goggles. It's very handy. Only $20.30 on Amazon. Again, link in the description for you. Okay, moving on to the next loca location. All right, this is in Carroll County, Tennessee. In fact, it's called the Carroll County Thousand Acre Recreational Lake. And they just put in this little bolt holder. Is that what they call it? Jeez, I don't know the names of things. That's a dock, a floating dock. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm wearing the Dominator goggles right now. It's a super bright day. So it's very handy to have the goggles blocking out the sun. Hi, guy in blue shirt. Let's go over and check out guy in red shirt flying drone with goggles on. The goggles do give you a better idea on how close you are to objects, which is handy. Hello, sir. Thought I'd get another shot of the new floating boat dock. I'm sure a lot of people haven't seen it yet, so there it is. Space is available for rent, I suppose. Well, that's it. I hope you found some helpful hints here. If you have any questions for me about the goggles or drones or anything, just make a comment. I try to get right back to you. Still can't decide if I'm dorky looking with these things on. Let me know. But it sure is fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, that's just fine with me. I've gotten a lot of them lately, and I really, really, really appreciate it. Until next time, so long.